Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today I will be showing how I'm pollinating sugar apple for more fruit production. And the first thing what I will start with is to differentiate the male and female flowers and how to pollinate them. It's quite simple and it really makes a difference in production, especially if you have like a very neat yard and you don't have any rotting fruit and I will talk about it later why you will possibly need to help a little bit with hand pollination. If you have rotten fruit nearby your trees that will actually help to attract an insect, a beetle, nitidulid. It will help with pollination. You don't even have to worry about hand pollination for fruit setting. Put it around nearby your trees and year round and that would attract um, them and they would pollinate your anona flowers. First thing first, let's check the stages of the flowers. Female stage, you see, opening up the petals. Male flower, you can see. It opened up already. And now I have to collect the pollen from this flower. With a soft brush, I collect the pollen in a little cup. And from there, I can use the pollen to pollinate the females. Opening up as a female, and that's the time when you're supposed to pollinate it with using this male, with using this pollen from the male. All right, guys, so because today I don't have anybody to help me to hold the camera, I took off a couple of flowers. No worries, there is thousands of flowers, but I want to show you so that way. So this is the male flower. This is by the second day it opens up this much. And I want to collect the pollen from this one. You see, this is, these are the female parts. These are the stigmas, the cone-shaped stigmas. And around this area is the male stamens. So I want to use those stamens and I use this little cup to collect the pollen. So perfect, now that we have our pollen, now it's time to pollinate. Yeah. Flowers, you can see the petals opening, but not all the way open. This is a perfect stage also to pollinate them. And the way I do it normally, I take off kind of like a half a petal or so, and now you can pollinate in the middle area, just slowly, gently make sure that the, that pollen goes into the female organ of the flower the stigmas and when it's done you are all set and now when you go out to pollinate you know because of half of the petal missing you know that this flower was already pollinated so you don't have to worry about pollinating it again uh, of course, you also have to be mindful how big is your tree. You don't want to overwork your tree either, but it's a lot of energy for fruit uh, to produce fruit. So you have to be mindful of that. But if you have a healthy, well-fed tree, then they can produce better. And if the pollination is successful, this is what happens. Let me show you. This is already a nice size sugar apple here. Kind of windy today, hold on. But you can see this one had what this was hand pollinated by me. This is a red sugar apple, and you can see the little sugar apple, the stem stays. Oh tiny sugar apple setting, same here. You can see tiny sugar apple setting where I pollinated it. And uh, like I said, these are also 
my yard is not immaculate so um, it's more natural state you can see I throw raptor fruit and um, veggies around the trees because I do want to attract the insects the one that naturally pollinate look at how cute you can see here Same here. But this fruit tree, last year I didn't hand pollinate, and it gave gave us one fruit, the red sugar apple, one fruit. So this year it's already I don't know how many settings there is, and I think it has to do with the hand pollination, and of course probably more insects around too. The success rate you can see here. I did that. I know it because I uh, took off half of the petal. Same here. I did that because you can see it's missing half of the petal. So I know which one is working out. The one that I did. Same here. You can see the little sugar apple setting. So it's definitely worth to give a try and why not to increase the fruit production if your tree is healthy enough, big enough to, I mean, you can see, this is a pretty nice looking tree. This is the red sugar apple. This is the green sugar apple. They both very nice size and there is no reason for only one fruit. But uh, no, sometimes that happens actually with young trees that, they, you know, it's a lot of energy for them to, to uh, fruit. A lot of energy goes to that. So, um, but it was also very, very great that we even had one. But now, this year, since the tree is like doubled, if not tripled in size, now I can do some pollination and... Let's see what happens. So far, um, pollination seems uh, working out very well. You can see the. And I figured I share this widow, so you can do the same if you have a nona tree and and uh, if you think that it's healthy and it can bear more, you can increase the production that way. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. I appreciate and I will see you guys with more plant videos, more updates on these and Nona's. Let's see how they are going to there. And why not subscribe? I post pretty often a lot of plant-related stuff. So see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.